wouldn't be time for the state fair just yet, but before I leave you to go on maternity leave, I wanted to bring you a bunch of state fair staples. So if you are one of those people who went right into the straight state fair, right up to the lemon shake up counter like myself, this recipe's for you. Let's make it together now. We might not be able to go to the state fair, but it is my goal to bring this state fair to you. So just sit back, relax, and step right up to get a lemon shake up because that's the very first place I go when I head to the Indiana State Fair. It's my favorite drink. The lemons smell amazing. I could bore you with all of the health benefits of lemon themselves, but let's be honest, when we visit the state fair, nobody's thinking about their health, and I'm not either right now. So I'm gonna show you two ways to do this so you can make it at home. The first starts right over here at the stove top because we need to make a simple syrup. So we're gonna start with a saucepan on medium high. A simple syrup is simply equal parts water, so about a cup of water and then a cup of pure sugar. Now, if you wanted to use more of a non-nutritive sweetener, a low-carb sweetener like allulose or monk fruit sugar, you could use that. So what you're going to do is heat this up until the sugar completely dissolves. That way you don't have any grittiness or graininess and it's going to make a syrup. So just until it boils. So let's pretend we're at that point so I don't bore you from here on out. So pretend that that has boiled. Right when it boils, you want to take it off the water. Don't let it sit there. And then what we're going to add, it's going to get kind of thick and rich. You can come back in here. We're going to add to that the zest. Of, I like to put the zest of three lemons. That gives it this night, nice, bright, lemony flavor in it. That goes right into our simple syrup. And then a ton of lemon juice, a ton of lemon juice. So take a look at this. You can come back down over here. Just get up a little higher so you can see these lemons being squeezed in. One of these you can find easily at the store or you could just squeeze it yourself. Seems like, and also look, you could use your clean fingers. Use your fingers as a sieve, that way you don't get any seeds in there. Squeeze it cut side up. Now, three lemons and lemon juice go in. If you get any seeds, just fish those out because that'll make it bitter and we don't want bitter. We only want sweet, puckery, and that delicious lemon flavor. One of the other keys to having a lemon stand, I think, for lemon shake, I don't know, I'm not necessarily a lemon shake-up expert, but I do know that they have lots of these around and they make your kitchen smell absolutely amazing. So you let that simple syrup set in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes. You can strain it if you don't want all of that lemon zest. I happen to love the lemon zest. So take a look here. This is the lemon syrup that I've already made. We are gonna put it into this bottle right here. Here you go. If you want, again, if you wanted to strain it to get all of, see it's kind of thick. The more sugar you add, the thicker and more syrupy it's gonna be. This is a bottle of lemon deliciousness. You could use this on pancakes, on ice cream, on waffles, in your lemon shake-up. So I'm gonna put a bunch of ice because that's another key to a good lemon shake-up. Is a ton of ice and then a big straw, okay? So we'll fill this up, pour some of the lemon syrup in. Now this is concentrated stuff. See all the pulp coming out, all the lemony goodness? And now, because it's concentrated, put some fresh cold water in there. Now you have to, have to, have to add another one of those. Lemon halves, just a little bit more pucker in there. It might get juice up on you, that's okay. Put that in there, a couple more of them. This is what an eighth month pregnant woman needs. Mm. It is absolutely delicious. Summertime in a glass, let me show you the fast way. Okay, the fast way is just to take a ton of ice, put it in your little jar. I like to kind of keep it old fashioned and go with a, a nice glass mason jar or something like that. A couple of tablespoons of straight up sugar. I can't believe I'm doing that. I'm a registered dietitian. I'm doing this for you because I love you guys. And then a bunch of that lemon juice as a couple of them. I would do a couple of lemons right in here. Stick that, get that down in there. And now, the most important part, I didn't do with the first one, so forgive me. But you know what we need is to shake. 
So I don't have a lid for this guy, but it's the state fair. So we're just doing what works. Any port in the storm, as my mom says, right? So press and feel. And the whole point is to do a good shake. Get all that sugar mixed in with that lemon. There you go. That looks like a delicious lemon shake up right there. Some of us like that gritty sugar mixed with the lemon down at the bottom. Mm. You know what? Either way, you can't go wrong. Don't forget to give this one a shake up. I've got to do it just because that's what this drink is called. You could keep this in the refrigerator. That lemoniness is just going to get better throughout the day. So there you go. That is State Fair staple number one. I've got some for you coming up the next couple of weeks. You'll have to let me know what you think. We're going to have all the ingredients ready for you at wishtv.com and on our Facebook page at All Indiana. So that very first Ooh. drink, Nina, my kids were staying on the side. They were like, Mommy, you forgot to shake it. Like, that's the whole point. I was like, oh, yeah, of course. Mommy this brain. is it. Yeah. I know, exactly. We talked about that. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I've been sipping on this all day. It just gets better and better as yeah. the day goes on. Well, that's awesome. I love a lemon shake-up. What's so, your favorite state fair food? Um, I really like a lemon shake-up, and then I like an elephant ear. Mm. If I'm going to splurge, not a funnel cake, but an elephant ear. A good old cinnamon sugar elephant yes, ear, right? Yes. We'll have to make that maybe, Nina, next week. <laughs> the fried addy that I got just for this. Ooh, that would be fun. Yeah.